Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As a time bomb in the technological confrontation between China and the United States, the photolithography process is an indispensable basic process. Since the United States imposed sanctions on Huawei in 2019, China has been forced to continue to use the 7 nanometer process, and the Dutch company ASML Asmax has become the protagonist of this game. Will it become a highland of technological innovation, or a victim of geopolitics? A fierce competition has been launched around the photolithography process. Photolithography technology, simply put, is a photographer making a semiconductor chip that prints circuit patterns on a silicon wafer with light. If the photolithography process is not used, the chip will become a blind man, not to mention any cutting-edge technology. From mobile phones to computers to smart homes, almost all high-end electronic products can see the presence of photolithography. When it comes to photolithography, ASML of the Netherlands must be mentioned. The company's photolithography process is in a leading position in the world, especially EUV, EUV, lithography, EUV, which is unique in the world. Without ASML's latest photolithography process, the ladder of semiconductor production will be destroyed. China bought lithography machines from ASML to produce its own chips, but the acquisition route was suddenly interrupted after being sanctioned in 2019. The United States took severe technical blockade measures against Huawei in 2019, targeting the throat of China's semiconductor industry on the grounds of national security. At that time, China only had a 7 nanometers semiconductor process and did not have first-class ASML equipment. The manufacturing process was like an old cow pulling a cart, and it was difficult to move forward. The US plan was very wise. Sanctions on China's high-tech development will slow it down in a short period of time. The financial report released by ASML in the first quarter of 2024 poured a bucket of cold water on the market. The company's operating income continued to decline by 27%, net profit continued to decline by 40%, orders were also much lower than market expectations and stock prices plummeted. This is all because of the export controls of the United States and the Netherlands on ASML, which prevented ASML's most advanced lithography machines from being sold to China, and could only be sold in the form of second-hand goods. This old equipment itself has no profit. However, even if it sells old goods, the Chinese market is still very important for ASML. By 2023, ASML's sales share in China will reach 26%. Why? Since mainland Chinese semiconductor manufacturers have a high demand for 28 nanometer process equipment, ASML is also happy to provide them with the latest process equipment. After all, ASML's profits are still considerable, and it can still make some money in this area. However, due to geopolitical tensions, ASML is afraid of further tightening export controls on China, which will directly affect its business. ASML has reason to be worried. Mainland Chinese semiconductor manufacturers are now ASML's largest buyers. ASML's orders in China have exceeded 380 billion US dollars, but if this is restricted, then its development will not be fast enough. The most interesting thing is that although ASML is a Dutch company, its lifeline is still controlled by Americans. These companies are dominated by American funds and have a great dependence on American technology. It can be said that the Netherlands is the belly of ASML and the United States is the heart. Once the United States makes a decision, the Dutch side has to follow. China is certainly unwilling to become a sinner when the United States imposes a technological blockade on it. Chinese technology companies and research institutions have begun to independently develop lithography processes instead of waiting. In recent years, China has made great progress in lithography technology, has developed different types of lithography equipment, and has achieved mass production 
and export according to different user needs. In particular, by 2023, China's lithography process will usher in a new period of development. Not only has the 28 nanometers level technology been greatly improved, but there has also been great progress in more advanced process technology. China's scientific research team is catching up at an astonishing speed, although they are still a certain distance away from ASML's most advanced technology. This is a truth of going against the current, if you don't advance, you will retreat. China has achieved independent development by combining public and private methods, focusing on conquering core technologies. In order to promote the rapid development of the semiconductor industry, the government has given strong support in terms of policies and finances. Private enterprises have also discovered the huge potential of this industry and have invested in technological innovation. China's work in this regard has begun to bear fruit. Although the United States has imposed a chain-breaking technological blockade on China's chip industry, China's semiconductor industry has gradually matured and its technological level is steadily improving. At present, China's photolithography technology is no longer limited to China, but has gradually moved to all parts of the world and won the recognition of countries around the world. This situation is a huge pressure for the United States and its allies. The sanctions imposed by the United States on China were originally intended to hinder China's technological development, but now it seems to be accelerating China's own research and development. China's semiconductor industry has gotten rid of its dependence on imports and moved towards independent production. This has not only improved China's technological strength, but also improved China's competitiveness in the world. The competition between China and the United States in technology and technology will become increasingly fierce. The United States and its allies may be quickly retaliated when China's semiconductor industry makes great achievements. China's progress in science and technology will further weaken the impact of the United States' technological blockade on the United States, making the sanctions against China less and less severe. In the face of this new situation, the United States and its allies need to reflect on their own scientific and technological strategies and make corresponding adjustments. Independent research and development of photolithography technology is just a microcosm of China's scientific and technological development. China has shown its tenacious vitality and strong scientific research strength in this war of science and technology without gunpowder. In the future development process, China will continue to make unremitting improvements in some important scientific and technological aspects, so as to free itself from relying on foreign science and technology. The successful development of lithography technology marks China's independent development in science and technology, and marks a major change in the competitive landscape of technology between China and the United States. Let us look forward to the development of Chinese science and technology getting better and better and more stable.